Hi guys, welcome back to a, another video for the Northern Blankers. Uh, we're out finally doing doing a bit bit of vlogging. We're on top pool after some catfish. Where, um, a lot of the carp are spawning in the northwest on most of our lakes. So we thought we'd try something different and come for the catfish on top pool. We've been out since where did we go last? I've done a day session a couple of weeks ago on Rossmere, which is on a Prince Albert ticket. Um, didn't vlog on that. They don't really like you vlogging on there to be honest. But I'll upload two of the, two of the fish that I caught. Only small, two, a mirror and a common, mid doubles, flat. And uh, before that, we'd done 24 hours on another club lake, but we didn't, we didn't vlog that. And there was absolutely nothing happened on there, to be honest. So, yeah, I'll just give you a bit of a little tour now of our pegs. So I've got one of my rods out here, just fishing into the, into the corner there. Michael's got his rod there, and Paul, he's on this session today, he's over there. So, fingers crossed, we get a, a catfish, hopefully. Just going for simple rigs on this session. Um, I've got a worm rig, half a pop-up, five worms, and the other pop, half the pop-up on top, so it pops up so much. Michael's got the same rig on. Just a couple of scoops of pellet over the top and a bit of boil over the top, so fingers crossed for a catfish on this session or a carp. We will take a carp because we've not had a carp yet for the channel, so it'd be nice just to get a fish for the channel, yeah, whether it's me, Paul, or Michael. So, yeah, I will come back to you guys if we have any more updates or anything. Cheers. So, we'll just come over to Paul's peg, he's just had a little bit of. A little bit of, bit of a beep on his rods. Where's your rods fishing, Paul? So we've got, got a cut out. So he's got one in the in the cut out. And one just on the edge of the bushes. And one on the edge of the bushes. I think Paul's going more for the carp. I think on this session. Yeah. Or anything on this session, <laughs> just to get a fish, like, like a fish. Yeah. So yeah. What tactics have you gone for, Paul, on this session? Uh, what have we gone for? Squid. On one. Pink. Is that a waft of that? No. No. No, it's the bottom pink squid. And two dumbbells. On the other. On the other, huh? Mm. Don't oh. know what flavour, can't remember. <laughs> well, let's hope they go off, mate, anyway. Yeah. Right, guys, just give you a bit of a, a rig. Rig tutor, not tutor, but what we're using on this session, we have got a running rig and a bit of tubing for the catfish because never fished for catfish properly before, but apparently they don't like uh, a fixed lead. They prefer like, to get them on a running rig with some tubing to, to, to protect your line down to a braid, coated braid. And this is a worm with an 18 mil pop up chopped in half so that will sit up a bit like a medusa sort of rig pops up like that um if i can get it in the margins i'll uh, i'll try and get you a quick video of it in the margins so yeah that's what we're going for for the old catfish on this on this session Right, it's time for that time of the evening where we do cooking with Paul. And on tonight's menu, we have sea bass fillet, fillets, baby corn, asparagus, and potatoes. So let's get cooking. <laughs> Sea bass here, we've just Paul's cooked it skin side down, nice and crispy. This is cooking in a peppercorn butter which comes with the sea bass. Getting flipped. 
potatoes are nearly done in the Ridge Monkey Toasty Pan. They're done, keeping warm on there. So, yeah. It's looking good. Nice summer tea. On top too. It's coming to evening now. It's going about what quarter past eight, something like that. I've had tea, stuff like that. Um, still quiet. Just had a liner just before I just started to put the camera on. Then on my left hand rod. Obviously no, no fish to report after that. But uh, yeah, we start to see a few shows around the the island to the right, and just to the just to the bottom end near the area. It was a Carp showed twice, so they started to show. Uh, whereas today they've just just been cruising, cruising on top of the water. Obviously the, the sun's been out, doing all my head, bald head problems. Um, yeah. So feeling pretty confident to be fair. Got going into the night. Put a bit of bait out on the spot. So just fingers crossed that they they get the the heads down really. But yeah, if we get a fish through the night, we shall uh, we'll give you an update. Uh, don't worry about that, we'll get the cameras out. And uh, show you a fish, hopefully, hopefully a nice big catfish. Maybe a cat, fingers crossed. Right, there you are guys. First fish for the channel. 14 pound dead. Nice little kitten there for us. Just ripped off on the old worm rig. Absolutely belting. Come on the catfish. Woo! Right, well, good morning guys. As you can see we had, uh, we had our first fish for the channel. We had a catfish at 14 pounds. It's my first catfish as well, I've never caught one before. Uh, which is interesting. So we stuck the rod straight back out. Last night I had to tie a new rig, did um, done, done the hook over and whatnot. So I put the rig out, got back in bed, it must have been within 15 minutes. Absolutely the same rod again, screamed off. Hit into it, as soon as it into it, cut me straight off. So it's not really what, what you want. At, um, what time was that? About 12 o'clock, 20 past 12. So yeah, so I had to re redo that, that rod put that out and then since then we got maybe one or two little beeps other than that nothing else to report through the night it's about quarter to seven now half six quarter to seven just a bit of brew tried to wake up absolutely daku and got to be off in here at 10 so get a brew down us get some breakfast on in the next hour or so and then start to make a pack up so yeah quite happy so far just to get the one the one fish out. I'll take that. So yeah, that's the morning, the morning update guys. Gonna, gonna enjoy my brew. Try and wake up. My eyes are like piss holes in the snow. So yeah, hopefully we might have another one before we go. Alright guys, just give you an update, just finish my brew then. Well, about five minutes after my brew. Left hand rod just absolutely screamed off, fishing over to the, the bush over there. Absolutely screened off, hit into it, and nothing there. Strange. The hair though, because it's mainly set up for the catfish with that worm rig with the, the pop-up. Hair's quite long, so I don't know whether that was a carp, but then it's come and it's just sucked the worms up and ran off, you know, the worm's not, not the hook's not gone in its gob. Um there is quite a lot of new fish, small fish in here, stockies in here. So I don't know whether it's one of the smaller ones that picked me up then, I don't know but yeah, so just redone the rig, just got it back out in the in the same area next to that bush. So maybe we might get another one before before we go. But yeah, just thought I'd just give you that bit of an update. Wasn't expecting it to be honest. Just come, just literally come out of the blue. Absolutely melted off. So yeah. So let's try and get another one. 
Right, guys, just let you know, we're, uh, obviously I'm back at home now, I'm not I'm not still in the bank. Um, I forgot to do, like, the end of the video. Uh, once I gave my last update, we had breakfast, another brew and stuff. And before you know it, because on there, it's a 10 in the morning, so 10 in the morning slot, which you book on. So by the time we had breakfast, it was it was getting close for uh, coming home. So we, we just packed up, and then uh, off we pop. So yeah, we're chuffed to get our first fish for the channel. Same as not a cat, but take a catfish. First catfish as well. First fish for the channel. So we should be out in the next couple of weeks. Um, me and Paul have checked our ships. And um, unfortunately, we probably can't be getting out together until end of August. I work shifts, he works shifts. Just how it is. So the next vlogs will be on my own or maybe with Pete. If Pete can jump on. If he's, uh, if he's free to get some sessions in. So yeah, if you guys would... Uh, like and subscribe, that'd be great, because we've got 18 subscribers. And it'd be nice just to get a few more and try and build the channel a little bit. So yeah, say thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. And uh, catch me next time on the bank. Come on the cap and the catfish.